going on YouTube? It's your boy DJ Cottrell, and I want to show you a um, a quick video on an alternative to long cable runs. Um, there's a lot of different ways to approach um, long cable runs. You could use, you know, of course you can go out and buy you a, depending on what type of cable you need, um, you can go out and buy a uh, uh, a long quarter inch cable or you could if you're using RCA uh, you can always uh, take a coaxial cable which is great for long distances and um, put a uh, RCA connector on the end of that but what I decided to try was cat5 over uh, cat5 to RCA for long distance uh, for uh, long distance cable runs so I have two amps, I have a, uh, it's a crown amp for my uh, two main speakers, I have a quarter inch out here, and then I have another amp way back there, it's an old Alyssa's amp uh, that I use for a sub, okay? So this is a, uh, what does that say, stereo hi-fi ballin, okay? This uses cat5 cable and the specs say you can do it up to a thousand feet okay this is the same thing it's just made by mcm okay electronics this is a two channel cat5 cabling to rca going into my uh Alyssa's amp here now, of course, I would prefer to use XLR, which I typically do, but they don't make an, a, um, a bullet that has XLR out. So I have to use this, this, this uh, adapter here, okay? Of course, nothing beats the sound quality of XLR, okay? But we're talking long distances here. And I'm going to show a quick video of um, how I had things set up at the last event that I uh, played. But um, anyway, so this bullet here is a hi-fi bullet, which I use on my main speakers because I want the best sound quality possible. This, this one is a much lower grade, but it does the same job. Um, it's for a sub, which, you know, it's a low, low end signal, so it doesn't have to be that crisp. Um, I'm just looking for the low end anyway, but this one is about 20 bucks in I think about 20 22 bucks and you have to buy them in pairs uh, But this is pretty much how you would set it up going into your amp Okay, so you need a cat5 cable for this one and then you need a cat5 cable for this one And they both say you can do up to a thousand feet of cat5 cabling, but of course I only bought a hundred feet um, of cat5 cabling. I don't think I'll ever do an event that I'm that far away. So I'm going to take show you a picture of my mixer here. This is a uh, Behringer DDM 4000 Fantastic mixer. I hope it never dies on me uh, it Has a three-year warranty on it. I've only had it for a year so far so good. It's a really good mixer I love it um, I mean the specs on it the outputs that it has, uh, it has uh, sub out, XLR, has um, of course your RCA um, outputs, has uh, two, out, two outputs, output B, output A. Um, but anyway, so this is my uh, lo-fi, it's probably not lo-fi, but I'm gonna call it my lo-fi bullet. And this is going, this is RCA, I have a, uh, uh, the back of you can't see it which is okay but this is going into an adapter that converts this back into xlr okay because the sub output of this mixer is only xlr so this uh two channel here is going is uh, being converted back to xlr so i have a cat5 cable let me see well i'll show you that in a minute and then on this side this is going to uh, XR, uh, RCA output of the mixer 
to this bullet, okay? And so all you would do is uh, grab your Cat5 cable. I only have one here, but of course you would need two. And I just put one in here and I would put the other um, Cat5 cable in here and I would run it to here, okay? You gotta match them up, so you have to buy these in pairs, remember that, gotta buy them in pairs. And um, I must say the sound quality at the, uh, the last event that I did was pretty good. Pretty good sound quality, you know? So this is a, a, a good alternative that you could use. Um, I've seen a video on YouTube where someone used coaxial cable and they uh, bought an adapter, uh, an RCA adapter, uh, where they were able to um, um, plug into their amp or their speakers. And coaxial cable is really great for long cable runs. But see, the problem with that is you're going to need two thick coaxial cables, right? With this setup, you're talking two channels of audio with one cable. Go on the website. Uh, you can grab these from uh, MCM's website there. You can see that. There you go. MCM website, yep, MCM Electronics. And um, I think this one, this one was 22, and this one was 44, like twice as much. Um, the audio quality is pretty good. Um, and again, I mean, you know, of course it's not gonna be as good as your XLR uh, connections, but it's pretty good. It's a very inexpensive way to do a long cable run. And uh, of course, um, buying uh, uh, longer R, uh, XLR cables or longer quarter inch cables are far more expensive than your, uh, your Cat5 cables. So in the end, it'll save you a lot of money. So it's a very um, uh, economical solution. It worked for me and I'm sure it'll work for you. All right, peace.